Soil erosion. It is a fact of nature and has been around for centuries. It occurs in cities and towns, farm fields, and forests. Is anything being done to protect the environment? Does anyone practice soil conservation? Farmers do, and it's really easy. By planting grass filter strips at the bottom of hills, by keeping last year's crop residue, which is the leftover part of the plant after harvest, on the field surface. In fact, many farmers will plant into the crop residue without plowing or disturbing the field at all. Some farmers use structures to catch excess runoff and get it off of the soil surface. What you see here is a man-made structure using a pipe inlet next to an earthen dam to catch surface water and move it underground through pipes. Let's take a look at how these methods work and why they're so important with a simple demonstration. This is a soil box with three compartments. The first compartment, on the left, has live grass with roots and soil under the surface. The middle compartment has corn residue on the surface covering up soil. The third box is simply soil. The entire box is put on a slope to simulate a hillside. Now let's see what happens when it rains. As we pour water over the grass and soil, the grass as a f acts as a filter for the water and a protective cover for the soil underneath. As we pour water over the corn stalks and soil, the corn residue acts in the same way. As we pour water over the bare soil, you see without any protection the water erodes away the soil dramatically. You can see by looking at the jars, just adding grass or the previous year's crop residue to a hillside will improve water quality and will make advances in soil conservation. There will always be soil erosion because it is a fact of nature. But through the methods demonstrated here, great strides can be made to help protect our environment. So the next time you see a farmer with grass or crop residue on a hillside, you will know that the farmer cares for the environment and for a clean water supply.